wanted to do something creative with my life, something artistic. I love telling stories with clothing, and I had always wanted to learn how to sew and learn how to design clothes and turn them into something real. My name is Aaron Kabachak, and I'm a costume designer, currently working with the Butler Opera as a resident designer. I love working with the students. You get to share ideas, you get to share your passion. Is that too tight? No, that feels great, actually. I did my undergrad and my graduate program at University of Texas. I did a few classes in fashion and then I kind of segued into the costume department and it really interested me so I applied to get my master's degree in costume design and theater. I usually start with research and time and place. Is it rural like Louisiana or is it New York City? What time period? 1940s, 1920s? Is it present day? And who is the person? Where do they come from? Where are they at in their life right now? All that can be told through the clothes you put on the person. I think it's okay. I think these just need to be shortened. This elixir of love is contemporary. It's kind of no place in particular, just a rural community. It's definitely a romantic comedy. It's lively, it's joyous, so we wanted to really explore that, those emotions. There's kind of two groups. It's the chorus, which is the farmers, and they're more in work wearing this denim, and more neutrals like blues and grays and tans. And then the main characters are kind of in these joyous, bright colors. This is Adina Sundress. Um, she's the main character in Elixir of Love, and this is the sundress we built for the show. We wanted to have her have a little bit of an edge, so we decided to put her in uh, red combat boots. Red is kind of the color of love. The Elixir of Love is, itself is kind of a burgundy color, so we wanted to kind of talk about this intervention of this elixir and about love into people's lives. I'm always thinking about what the audience experience is as far as them relating to the costumes in the show. If the audience loves the show, then I'm so happy. We all have our stories we're trying to tell, and I think if the costume design helps to tell the story and build this world, and people believe it, then I think it's successful. <laughs>